Hi, scholars. So today we are going to look at making and confirming predictions in our read aloud. What do you think will happen in the story? What will happen next? Was my prediction right? So you can see we have a friend here who's reading a book and then she made a prediction and it was correct. So we're going to see if we can make some accurate predictions in our story today. And I think you're gonna like this one too. It also has some teamwork in it because it is about baseball. So um, this book is called Dino Baseball Scholars and let's read it together. Jurassic Park, a perfect day. Dino baseball's underway. Green Sox host the Red Eye Reds. Some pterosaurs, some quadrupeds. Uh, caps with brims shield midday sun. Shoes with cleats he help dinos run. Wooden bats and leather mitts warm up throws and practice hits. Hats on hearts as anthem plays. T-Rex cries while Lesso sways. So scholars, how do you think that these dinosaurs are going to work together to play baseball? How can they use teamwork? First at bat is Trudon. He taunts the pitcher, bring it on. The pitch is good. He swings with grace, then hustles round to second base. Tricera has an awesome grip, a knuckleball, he lets it rip. Galley swing not up to par, her hit just doesn't go that far. Now watch that Mayasora race, tags Galley out two yards from base, a man on third. What happens next? Strikeout Raptor, then T-Rex. So scholars, you can see how even in our own story, they were making predictions and then letting us know what happened. What happens next when there's someone on third base? They run home, right? Scholars, they run to home base. And, but in this case, um, Raptor got um, struck out. Four innings of a pitcher's duel. Both teams are running out of fuel. Three up, three down, no one scored. Baseball fans are getting bored. Uh oh, scholars, what do you think is going to happen? Let's make a prediction. If the fans are getting bored with the game, what do you think is going to happen? Well, we have some options. Do you think that they're going to um, leave and not watch anymore? Do you think they're going to get upset? Or do you think the game is going to get more exciting? We'll have to see. Then Stegosaurus for the Sox hustles to the batter's box. T-Rex is the go-to guy. Wind up, pivot, let it fly. As Wood hits ball, they hear a crack. A mighty swing has split the bat. Stego rumbles down the line. Compy yells, this one is mine. Gloves the ball, throws him out. That's what baseball's all about. But wait, the Green Sox manager's irate, throws his hat and kicks home plate. He calls the ump a nasty name and gets ejected from the game. The Diplodocus gets a hit. An um, Ankylo makes the best of it. Patchy scores a home run play. Three RBIs the Green Sox way. Top of the six, Sox three, rib zero. But red team fans are all aglow. Bases loaded, Green Sox fret in the dugout dugout ribeye sweat. So scholars, I think our prediction that it could have gotten more exciting was true. We predicted and thought, uh oh, the fans are bored. How can we fix that problem? And we thought maybe the game will get more exciting. And right now, every person, every base has a person on it right now, which is very exciting in baseball. So scholars, what do you think is going to happen now? Do you think they're going to make it? because right now the green team's ahead. Which team, let's make a prediction, which team do you think is going to win the game? Barry's up, his hit is sweet. Ribeye runners move their feet. The ball is headed toward the fans. Diplo dashes to the stands, jumps up high, his glove held wide. A Sox fan plucks it from the sky. The home run makes the green Sox cry, why? Seventh inning stretches here. Green Sox fans sing songs and cheer. Ribeye fans chomp meaty steaks. They all line up for bathroom breaks. That's silly, huh? 
It's three to four, bottom of the eighth. The Green Sox players don't lose faith. They truly want to win the game. And Maya's bat has perfect aim. She eyes the pitcher, shows no fear, smacks that ball. It's out of here. Top of the ninth, tied at four. Which team would make the winning score? In the outfield, Green Sox wait as Compi steps up to the plate. He hits it hard and hits it high. The outfield runs, gloves to the sky. Ankylosaurus gives a shout. He caught the ball. That red is out. Two more outs. No one is winning. Will they need an extra inning? An extra inning is if it's a tie, Scholars, and they have to keep playing. Green Sox need to change the score. Their only hope, up to soar. He's at the plate. He sets his stance. Strike one, strike two, just one more chance. What do you think is going to happen? What's your prediction? So, scholars, you can say my prediction is, and then tell me what you think. He concentrates. He eyes the wall. A swing, a hit, and goodbye ball. The Sox mascot jumps up and down, confetti's falling all around. The crowd goes wild up in the stands. The field is mobbed by Green Sox fans. They've had their biggest season yet. It's over now, but you can bet. Buy your tickets at the court for Dino Hoops next season sport. So scholars, the green team won the Green Sox. So if that was your prediction, then you were right. Now, um, I want you scholars to think about how in sports we can use teamwork, whether it's baseball, whether you're playing even freeze tag with your friends um, on the playground, whether you're playing a game with your siblings. Scholars, I would like for you to tell us what is one way that you can use teamwork when you're playing a game. Okay, you can even draw a picture if you wanted to and share it on Seesaw. Um, but let's talk about that today. How can you use teamwork when you're playing a game or a sport? Okay, you did a great job, scholars. Thanks for listening, and we will um, see you soon.